Welcome to Occidental Caribe, a 4.5 rated hotel that is affordably priced in Punta Cana, Dominican Republic. This all-inclusive hotel is a great way to vacation and it's reasonably priced for all it has to offer. breathtaking beauty of the grounds and the luxurious feel is the first thing you will notice as soon as you step onto the property. We make our way into the lobby that is designed to make you feel in the Christmas spirit as we are visiting in December. The lobby, along with it being well decorated, has several seating options for those waiting to check in or check out. As we make our way from the lobby to outside, on either section of the hotel, we will see a lobby bar where we're able to grab a quick drink before making our way to the pool. This large door leads to the buffet area and I will be making a second video on the food, restaurants and bars at Occidental Caribe. So subscribe to see that upcoming video or comment to tell me if you are interested in something like that. Let's go outside. We now make our way to the gift shop and stores. This store is called Roca and they have a wide array of souvenirs from colorful fridge magnets to hats, beautiful artwork and wooden figures along with the jewelry. The thing to know about this gift shop is that there are not any prices on the items and the store staff encourages you to pick up as much as possible in a basket that they provide and they will make a price for you. Just beside Roca is Quick Silver, and as you can see, they mostly sell clothing items, so hats, sunglasses, bags. This bag costs 300 US, so if you want to use that as a price point, go ahead. Organic Caribbean sold naturally made skincare products for your face, body, and lips. They also had clothing options, so you are definitely not limited here. Gift shop market had similar souvenirs as the previous gift shop, however they had more options from coffee to rum and if you are like me that appreciate unique rum designs, you will definitely like what they have to offer. This gift shop displayed their prices and they seemed fairly priced based on the gift shops I visited outside the hotel. I should mention that if you collect snow globes like myself, this specific store does not have it, however Roca does have and i purchased mine for 10 us dollars the store also sells feminine care products they have flu pills and toiletries such as toothpaste so if you have forgotten any of those not to worry they have you covered even though this gift store also sold fridge magnets i prefer the one at roca i believe they're more colorful more unique uh, tell me what you think in the comments Even though it's an all-inclusive hotel, there are paid services such as a spa that is open from 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. Just beside the spa is a 24-hour medical center, which is also a paid service. As we make our way from the medical center, we will see the Flip Club, which is a superb kids zone that is open from 9.30 a.m. to 5.30 p.m. And parents have the opportunity to leave their children with a specialist staff every day and this is for ages 4 to 12 years old. As we make our way, we find ourselves at the fitness studio that has the basic exercising equipment. It's open from 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. and it's suitable for ages 18 and up. Close to the gym is the games room and when we went, the bar was not operational. However, there are multiple pool tables, a table tennis table and a fuse ball table and it's close to the pool. The resort has two large lagoon pools and this specific one, it has a sitting area that you're able to relax under like a gazebo and just read a book or 
sip on a nice cocktail. It also has what is supposed to be a hot tub, but I would define it as a bubble tub as it was neither hot nor warm. But sitting there, the bubbles were nice and ironically, it was really cold. They also have a pool for the little ones and rock climbing was available from 3 p.m. to 5.30 p.m. which was a bit odd for me because I thought rock climbing would be at an earlier time. They also had a trapeze which I thought was really cool and shout out to Max from Canada who is showing off his acrobatic skills. If you have found this video helpful so far, definitely hit the like button or leave a comment and tell me what you think is the most interesting part of this hotel so far. So what better way to have a wedding than on a beautiful beach in the Caribbean? Now, I hope the bride and groom did not get wet as the weather was definitely on and off. It rained and it stopped, but it was still a great view. While on the beach, you will encounter locals selling different things such as excursion souvenirs and this local was selling a picture basically with a blue and yellow macaw. Now, I really do appreciate birds and marine life. What I don't like though is iguanas and you'll see my reactions but he was really friendly and they were respectful. Well, in English, no buy. No buy, no buy. <laughs> Not my proudest moment, but what can I say? I don't like reptiles. Now we are at my favorite pool because this is where all the activities went down. And they have daily activities, which I really enjoy. And if you're like me, you're joining in the dancing too, even if you don't know the moves. Like, it's just a part of the vacation. It's a part of the fun. And to be honest, my moves were spot on. Hello. We are now off to the room and while doing this voiceover, I realized how big this hotel really is. There are 798 rooms. This is me giving you a grand entrance as I always wanted to do an MTV Cribs kind of intro. So this is it and you're welcome. Plus I had a pina colada so that helped. If you didn't see the thumbnail, you would have probably thought this cost a whole lot. But the price was, drumroll please, $89 per night and for four days and three nights, that totaled to $356.25. Now, the TV was a bit grainy. However, with all the activities, I don't think you'll be watching a lot of TV. There was enough draw space if it is that you'll be seeing a lengthy time or if you came with a group or a family. The room also comes equipped with coffee maker machine, ice bucket cups, coffee and tea along with a mini fridge. Now with the mini fridge I would have appreciated if they defrosted the fridge or an alternative is get non-frost fridge. It comes with two colas and a spray. Bright. As it relates to the closet, I appreciated when you open the closet door, the light automatically came on. It comes with an iron, hangers, and an ironing board. The room also has a safe where you can put your passport away or any valuables. We are now off to the bathroom, and although I do appreciate how it looks, there were some minor problems. So the toilet handle had an issue. The railing that you can hold on to had an issue. And they did not fully shower gel upon us booking the room. Now, unlike other hotels that have lotion and sofa guests, they did it a bit different. They had shoe shine sponge. They had a little vanity kit, which was very interesting. They had shower caps. They also had a sewing kit and a comb. And in the vanity kit was a Q-tip and a sponge. I also appreciated this adjustable mirror and it's perfect for persons who are doing their makeup. There's also a magnifying section on the other side. So that is perfect. And the hair dryer did work. After I got to figure it out, it worked perfectly. As we make our way to the balcony, we are able to see Rio Hotel, which is really close by this beautiful greenery and the beautiful blue skies. Our room was located just above the casino and was very close to the Tena Theater, so we were able to hear a bit of the entertainment that was going on throughout the night.
if after all those activities and entertainment you are still wanting for more, not to worry, there is an adult-only nightclub called The Hurricane that is open from 11pm to 2am. Do you think this hotel is worth the price?